Hello everybody, in this part of video, I am going to discuss about different type of medicine system available in pharmacognosy. At the same time, in this video, I would like to discuss Ayurvedic medicine system. This video very very helpful to you in case of your same exam and you can easily pass the same exam by using this video. And you can see different type of alternative systems in medicine. Just remember Usha fan. So from this Usha fan, you can easily write the names. So the you indicating in any system of medicine. S indicating Siddha system of medicine, H homeopathy system of medicine, A indicating Ayurveda system of medicine. So these are the four different alternative systems of medicine we have apart from allopathic medicine. And also Chinese system of medicine is also available. In this particular video, I am going to discuss clearly about Ayurveda system, how Ayurveda system work, what are the principles of Ayurveda system and what you need to be do in diagnosis and what are the medicine available in Ayurveda system in a very easy and simple way for your semester exam. So Ayurveda system of medicine it came from the Sanskrit word. So in the Ayurveda in the Sanskrit Ayu means life, Ayur means life, Veda means holy knowledge also called science. That means in simple words to say Ayurveda means the science of life or your understanding the life science that is called Ayurveda. So the name Ayurveda came from the Sanskrit. You can write in exam. And Ayur means life. Veda means knowledge. So Ayurveda means knowledge about life. And this Ayurveda since of life. Is Ayurveda is science of life. And it will be considered as a Upaveda. Upaveda means it is a sub part of Adharna Veda. So we have four Vedas. In that four Vedas, Ayurveda is considered as a sub part of Upaveda means sub part of Adharna Veda. And these Ayurveda are this Adharna Veda which deals with herbs, plants and anatomy and physiology of different organs of body. So you can see in Ayurveda system also we are going to learn a lot of plants and plants, herbs and what are their uses. This kind of information we are going to learn in case of Ayurveda system also. Now you can see who is the father of Ayurveda system. So Charaka. So Charaka is the principal exponent of Ayurveda. That means the Charaka is the person who introduced or who developed this Ayurveda system. But he has been regarded as a traveling physician. So what does it mean? Charaka is a physician in the ancient days. He is a doctor like thing and he is a traveling physician. From one area to one area he will travel. At the same time in one book of Buddhist script that means in the Buddhist scripts means in the Buddhist script means it is a book of Buddhist. So in the Chinese translation of Buddhist script it refers that Charaka is a physician of King Kanishka. So he is like King Kanishka. So in the King Kanishka kingdom, the Charaka is working as a doctor. This was written in the Buddhist script. So from that script or from that knowledge of Buddhist literature, we get idea this Charaka is a uh, working physician in the King Kanishka kingdom. And Charaka Samhita, so this Charaka written one book called Charaka Samhita, believed the whole text of Ayurveda which was edited by Charaka. Okay, so Charaka from Agnivesha Samhita. So that means Charaka taking the information about Ayurveda from Agnivesha Samhita and he written the book called Charaka Samhita. Okay, and Agnivesha is a student of Sage Atreya. So Sage Atreya is the guru for Agnivesha and from that Agnivesha he written Agnivesha Samhita from that Agnivesha Samhita, Charaka written Charaka Samhita. Getting my point? So, Agnivesha is a student of Atreya. From that Atreya, Agnivesha learned about Ayurveda. From that Agnivesha, he written Agnivesha Samhita. And from that Agnivesha Samhita, Charaka written Charaka Samhita. And so, Atreya is a considered as a founder of Ayurveda. And Shushruta, so he is the Shushruta. He, he written the Shushruta Samhita. And these Shushruta, will be considered or introduced surgery in Ayurveda. That is the reason Shushruta will be considered the father of surgical medicine. Okay. And the theory of basic concepts of Ayurveda. Ayurveda is based on three fundamental principles. The first fundamental principle is Panchabhuta, Panchabhuta Sadanta, Siddhanta and Tridosha theory and another thing called Guna, Rasa, Virya, Vipaka and Prabhava Siddhanta. So this theory is I am going to discuss very in detail and very clearly. So what is Panchabhuta Siddhanta? Simple thing it is known to everyone Panchabhuta. Panchabhuta means earth, water, 
fire air and water so these are the things like air earth water fire and another component is also there so these are the of uh, five so earth means you can see prithvi so in sanskrit prithvi means earth the basic role of prithvi is that in the body form shapes okay and gel gel means water so in panchbhut the gel function is that it maintain the moisture liquidity and lubrication of the body and agni agni means fire it produce the heat and energy in the body vayu means air so that means it is a kind of prana prana so a vital role which control the respiration akash so this is like sky so these all are the five parts of panchabhuta siddhanta and according to ayurveda ayurveda believe that every substance is combination of this five mahabhutas so our body is also be made up of this five mahabhutas according to ayurveda each mahabhuta has one characteristic feature and affects mean identification this the body has perfect balance of these five elements like panchabhutas whenever these panchabhutas are distributed are disturbed automatically we get unhealthy conditions or illness will be developed according to ayurveda in ayurveda we have panchabhutas one bhuta is prithvi that is called earth gel water agni fire vayu air akash whenever this disturbance in these five bhutas automatically we get ill or uh, this is like situation according to the ayurveda system and another important thing in ayurveda system is that tridosha thiri so what is meant by tridosha thiri dosha means impurities are imbalance so according to ayurveda we have three doshas one is called vata another thing called pitta another one kapha so this vata pitta kapha whenever there is imbalance happen in the vata kapha pitta we get the disease according to the ayurveda so what is vata vata dosha is constituted from the vayu or akash so that means in simple words to say vata means vayu air so which is balanced vata brings about our respiration so that means in vata dosha means you have some respiratory problems imbalance of these factors occur due to air quality diet cold weather for example if you are in the cold weather automatically your breathing will be affected and water and air quality if air quality is not good automatically your respiratory system get affected so according to vata dosha means affecting of your respiratory system is called vata dosha and another dosha is also available dosha so that is called pitta so pitta dosha means originated from agni so like it is having acidity so pitta dosha means it have acidity agni it have heart bright and acidic character simple words to say it is a acidic situation or gastric so stomach problems that is called pitta dosha and in the balance it is a balanced pitta condition helps in the digestion metabolism and energy production in case of pitta dosha what will be happen when you get the pitta dosha automatically your digestion and metabolism all are affected and imbalance in this dosha brought about hot weather and hot spicy food for example you can see i already told pitta dosha means indigestion or stomach problems if we take hot and spicy food automatically definitely you get the spicy or this pitta dosha that is called indigestion problems and another dosha is called kapha dosha so kapha dosha means it is a made of prithvi and gel so like it is a water and heavy character in heavy and character so this kapha dosha what will be happen increase kapha affects means lubrication of joints and stability of the body for example this kapha dosha will be excreted kapha dosha will be excreted by cold weather and spring and heavy meal and taking too much rest for example if you take too much rest automatically you get the joint pains right that is called kapha dosha and kapha dosha is also known as like uh, sputum also okay that is also be kapha dosha okay all of about three doshas vata pitta kapha have been individually divided into five types depending upon their function so these are the three doshas like kapha pitta and vata dosha it is very important in ayurvedic system and another like guna rasa virya vipaka pravava siddhanta so what does it mean so if you want to remember simple this simple version of this just remember that ji var prasad name just ji var prasad so ji means guna that is called quality v means virya an active principle of the potency characteristic drug and v means vipaka that is end product of digestion r means rasa therapeutically active ingredient 
P means prabhava, the actually actual therapeutic activity of the drug because of this prabhava only. D means darvia, drug substances. So this is simple thing. This rasa guna virya vipaka siddhanta based upon this only. Guna means quality of the drug. Virya means active principle which is potency characterized. Vipaka means input of the digestion. Rasa means therapeutic active constituent. Prabhavata means therapeutic active drug of the individual. So this is about your five uh, guna uh, rasa virya vipaka prabhava siddhanta. And in Ayurveda siddhanta we have Tridosha Dhatu Mala Siddhanta. So another Siddhanta is also there that is called Tridosha Dhatu Mala Siddhanta. In simple word to remember, Tridosha Dhatu Mala Siddhanta, just remember Samosa is super. You can see in the Samosa is super, A indicating Asti, Asti Dhatu that is called solid structure of the body, and M indicating Meda that is called fat tissue. M indicating mimsa, mamsa that is called madil, M indicating majja, majja that is called dhatu or bone marrow, and vo, voja that is called strength, S indicating sukra, sperm, and R indicating rasa, R indicating raktam. Raktam means blood, rasam, rasa means plasm, plasma, sukra means sperm, voja means strength of the body, like this, majja means bone marrow, and mamsa means madil, madha means fat. Asidhatu. So this three dosha dhatu mala siddhanta, this is right. Simple you can write three dosha dhatu mala siddhanta and you can write this side headings there. That is enough for this. And the three main malas from the body according to Ayurveda that is called Purisha, that is called feces, mutra, urine, sveda, sweat. That means these are the three major excretions that came from the body according to Ayurveda system. And it is supposed that have doshas. Dhatus are present in perfect balance and it brings the all health in while. Like whenever this all dhatus and dhatus are in good, we not get any health problems. Whenever there is imbalance, we get the illness. The concept of three guna. So three guna, sattva means good, raja means aggressive and tama means dullness. So whenever this guna, like this is the mindset of our body. So these are qualities of mind. Whenever the imbalance between the sattva, Raja, Tama, it will cause more and more health problems, right? So diagnosis, how you diagnose the disease according to this Ayurveda system? The diagnosis of disease according to Ayurveda system, the Charaka Samhita describes the Nidana Satana. So what does it mean? Nidana Satana means we should identify primary cause and what is the reason behind this disease. And in the treatment what we do means we remove the reason from the disease. So that will help you in the treatment, which is concerned with the diagnosis of disease. And it deals with the etiology, that means how disease came, pathology, what is the reason, and signs and symptoms of disease. In the Ayurveda system, we follow this. And in the diagnosis of Ayurveda system, we also follow the observation of skin, eyes, hair, nails, and tongue also, so that we get the history, general history of the and after observing all these things, we identify the patient history also. And recording of pulse is very important in Ayurveda diagnosis. Because of based upon your pulse also, we define what dosha you are getting affected. So dosha basis pulses characters. So based upon your pulse rate, we identify with which dosha you are getting affected. And gastrointestinal tract circular system is noted. Okay. And at the same time, what is the treatment in Ayurveda system? The Charak Samhita described that Chikita Satana. Chikita Satana means it deals with the study, preservation of health and prevention of manage from various diseases. So Chikita Satana means we should prevent and manage various diseases. In the type of Chikisa, we have this one. So Kaya Chikisa, this is called general medicine we give. And Shalka, uh, like Shalak Kantra, so I have some problem in pronunciation, you can read it. So that is called treatment of disease above circular and region from uh, like uh, Shalaka. And this is like Shalya, uh, Shalyantara, so acute and chronic disease treatment, this is called Shalyantara. And so this is like, uh, you can read, so I have some problem in pronouncing. So toxic substance chikitsa is called this one. Okay. And so Vijakarnam, so disease of genital organs and both both vidya for diseases which have logical cause of factor, no logical cause of factor that is called both vidya in our way the treatment. So this also you can read so for pediatric diseases. 
and so what are the some powders examples that are available so if you want to remember the examples of powder treatment in ayurveda just remember this mrp so m means mundur r means rasyan p means pishti p means prapti k means kesar c means churna b means basma basma churna kashar prapti and pishti rasyan mandur all are the powders in ayurveda system liquids in ayurveda system example just remember adme so arshita arka asva dravana hima kavat manda these are the examples of liquids in ayurveda medicine tablets in ayurveda medicine it is called gutika vati vatika so these are the medicines in ayurveda system i hope you enjoyed this thank you and have a great day if you like this video hit that thumbs up button and 